Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a fragrance haul for you guys. I went ahead and I grabbed up seven new perfumes to add to my collection, if I am being transparent with you guys. After filming my perfume collection video for you guys, I'll give you guys a little bit of a wider view. So it goes all the way down to there and then these shelves are for high. I do have some empty shelves and it was bothering me just a little bit. So I did do two perfume hauls. This one that I'm about to share with you guys and then my Joma shop that's on the way. I also still have to do a video on my House of Siage stuff that I purchased. But nonetheless, this is a perfume haul. It is from TJ Maxx, Burlington, and Target. So these are cheap fragrances. I definitely enjoy the ones that I picked up. So let's jump in and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with Target and work my way into TJ Maxx and Burlington. So I honestly, I don't go to Target too much. Like the Target is closer to me than my Walmart, but I also don't go to Walmart a lot either. I'm just not too much of a Target Walmart person. Honestly, like if I need household essentials, I get them while I'm at the grocery store. I don't find a need to go to like Target and Walmart, but I did stop in and I'm glad I did because I was happy to see that Target carries a good little variety of perfume. I got to smelling around. I smelled the mixed bar fragrances. I smelled the finery fragrances and I did come home with three perfumes. The first one I have here from NYX Bar is the Pear Blossom Eau de Parfum number no. three. This is a 1.7 fluid ounce and it retails for right around $20. I think 24 or a little less. So I did go ahead and take notes so I could let you know what the scent notes are in this. So the Pear Blossom is Juicy Pear, Peony Petals, Applewood, and White Musk. So very pretty, fruity, floral. One of those like dumb reach perfumes you can get out of the shower you could spray this all over you and it's going to be non-offensive but yet something that you'll enjoy the second one that i picked up from mix bar um i think the pear one was relatively new but um this one has been around for a little bit this is sparkling hibiscus this is the number seven and the fragrance notes on this one is hibiscus, champagne, bergamot, cashmere, musk. So I won't lie, this one gives me a little bit of like elevated bath and body works vibes. But once again, I just like easy fragrances like this, especially for when I get out of the shower. I'm not going anywhere, but yet I want to smell good. So those are the two mix bar fragrances that I picked up. I did pick up a scent from Finery and I loved it so much that I picked it up in the body spray. Body spray was 15 and I'm pretty sure the actual fragrance was 25. So I went ahead and I got I Am Musk. People are comparing this to Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. I do not like Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. I like Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume Super Dose. I feel the regular Not a Perfume, I just don't smell it. It goes on me and something about my nose, I cannot smell it. I like feminine musky scents. This fits the bill 100%. Um, it's like a toned down white musk fragrance. Um, my brother dated a girl. She wore um, white musk all the time and it was a little bit overbearing and that kind of stuff, but yeah, it was pretty in its own sense. To me, this is the toned down, more wearable version of that. So thoroughly enjoy it. Fragrance notes on that one are fluffy musk, cotton blossom, and creamy sandalwood. So those are all the fragrances I picked up at Target. Let's go ahead and migrate into TJ Maxx and Burlington. I did pick up one fragrance at Burlington and it is from Toka. I love Toka. Their bottles are absolutely beautiful. This was only $30 at Burlington and it retails for almost hundred bucks. So this was like an easy buy for me. Now I will say if I would have probably had the opportunity to smell it first, I would have probably skipped it. It is not my most favorite Toka fragrance, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is spicy and I am not a spicy girl at all, but this is spicy. This gives like bougie 
older lady, mature spice. Like, honestly, this could easily be mistaken for probably like a Chanel fragrance. Like, I don't do well with Chanel fragrances unless it's like Eau Tendre or Eau Fresh. Um, like I said, spicy, but I do think that there is a time and a place for me to have this in my collection. This is one of those heady fragrances that I think I will enjoy when it is very bitter cold, fall time out, um, maybe going to a nice restaurant. This isn't going to be a perfume that I reach for on the day to day, but I do think that it has rightfully earned its place in my collection. Like I said, Bottles are very beautiful in this collection. They have that vintage feel to them. They do have a carved cap, which is absolutely beautiful. So fragrance notes on Toka Cleopatra are top notes, grapefruit, black currant, and green notes, as well as cassis. So like those notes, I'm like, oh yeah, easy blind buy, easy blind buy. Middle notes, jasmine, peach, and tuberose. I'm like, oh, peach, jasmine, I love those. We're going to be good to go. Uh, base, musk, patchouli, amber, and vanilla. So this is very patchouli heavy. And I'm not anti-patchouli, but this is very incense patchouli. So if you like those scents, I definitely think that you are going to love Cleopatra way more than me. So now let's go ahead and hop on over to the fragrances that I got at Burlington. Let me find my little list here because I did buy them on separate days. So I did pick up three perfumes at Burlington. One of them I even had to actually go back for. Unfortunately, when I'm at Burlington, my phone hits a dead spot where I cannot pull up fragrance notes. Like I am literally blind buying because I don't even know what fragrance notes are. So I'm going to start with the cheapest one. And I grabbed this one because my cousin has been telling me about it for quite quite some time. She was like, oh, you need to try Liz Claiborne Bora Bora. I have been avoiding this like the plague because look at it. It looks dated. It looks dated. And I mean, it is. It is a dated fragrance. This came out in either the early 2000s or the 90s. I mean, look at that bottle. It looks cheap. This looks like something my mother might have had on her dresser or even my grandmother. So I skipped buying this for the longest time. And my cousin, she's older. She's in her 50s and that kind of stuff. I'm like, ah, she probably doesn't know what she's talking about. Because for the most part, I will pick her fragrances for her. And like, be like, oh, I really like this. Let's order it and that kind of stuff. And we just order perfumes together. But for quite some time, she's been telling me about Bora Bora. I've been avoiding it. I saw it at Burlington. It was literally, was it $12.99 or $14.99? $12.99 for a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. I can now say now that I have Bora Bora in my collection, I don't know if I can live without it. I love white floral fragrances. This is the epitome of what I love in a white floral fragrance, plus pair it with being cheap. This stuff is where it's at, and I'm ashamed to say it. Like, my cousin was 100% right. So, scent notes... Top has Water Lily, Iris, and Mandarin Orange. Middle notes, Tuberose, and it's not that bubblegummy Armani Tuberose. I cannot stand that. Um, Orchid, Jasmine, and Orange Blossom. Base notes, Ginger, and Sandalwood. So there's quite a few notes in here that I like. Obviously, I like Water Lily. I like Mandarin Orange, Orchid, Jasmine, and Sandalwood, and oh, this perfume is so good. I want to spray it on myself right now, but unfortunately I have to go over to the main campus of the hospital and we're not allowed to be wearing fragrances today. So I'm going to refrain from spraying this on me, but this is a beautiful white floral. It has stood the test of time despite it being an older fragrance. It does not smell dated. So if you can get your hands on this, definitely do so. The next one is the one that I had to go back for, and this was $20. I was upset because I could not pull up the fragrance notes for the life of me while I was in Burlington. The box kind of threw me off, and that's why I left it on the shelf. And then I was able to successfully pull up the notes, and I made my husband drive me back because I only saw one on the shelf. 
This is Britney Spears Blissful Fantasy. So what threw me off is if you look at the back of the box, there's a bunch of palm trees. I'm like, that's going to be coconutty. That's going to be tropical. I don't want to smell like a fruit smoothie. I don't want to smell like coconut. I do apologize if you hear the dogs with their squeaky toy. So I skipped it. And then I pulled the notes up and I came back because like I said, I am white floral obsessed. This is another white floral fragrance. Let's see if I can get the box open. I have worn this once. I will say if I had to pick between the Bora Bora and this, I would go with the Bora Bora. So this is a yellow and reddish ombre colored bottle. Her typical like fantasy line bottles. 20 bucks, big bottle at Burlington. Fragrance notes, top is melon, lily, and freesia. The mid notes are tear flower, tuberose, and jasmine. Base notes are musk, sandalwood, and orris root. I think the orris root throws this one just a little bit on my skin. That's why it's not above Bora Bora. Like I said, if I had to pick between these two, I would pick the Bora Bora over the Blissful Fantasy, but I do enjoy the Blissful Fantasy. I have one more fragrance left, and this was my $30 fragrance that I bought. And once again, couldn't pull up the fragrance notes, but I know last year when I got the Escada Fairy Love and Candy Love, I liked them and they were cheap. But this was the bigger bottle and this is Show Me Love from Moscata. This is one of their Valentine's Day fragrances for this past year. Like I said, $30. Bottle looks like this. So it is heart-shaped Moscata anymore. They do some of the most like childish bottles. You can probably see my other hearts over there. I can see them just a little bit, the pink and the red down there. So this is another red heart, a bigger one. I'm going to try to squeeze this one on that shelf. I don't know. But this one definitely the blueberry stands out in it yes it has blueberry in it so let me go ahead and read the notes for you guys on this one so show me love top notes is blueberry mid notes is jasmine base notes is blueberry macaron so not many different fruity notes in there like i said this is a blueberry bomb but I definitely think that the um jasmine adds a nice element to it, it adds a little bit of a uh floral element in there. So that is my perfume haul from Target, TJ Maxx, and Burlington. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone.